Hi guys, it's Meredy here, and I am here with our eighth process video using the Offbeat kits. And I will tell you what I'm gonna work with today. I'm getting down to the bare minimum scraps of this kit, but I'm going to show you what I have pulled out to work with. So I pulled out a few pictures. Um, I think I wanna make two like single page layouts next to each other that coordinate with each other. So it will be like a double page layout, but it really just depends how things are going um, on the first side of this. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see what happens in this video. So I have a coaster from the restaurant that we went to for dinner and I want to incorporate that coaster into my layout. But I have these two four by six pictures and then this four by six picture. And I want the first side of the layout to just be this one because it's me and my two sisters. And then the second side of the layout to be this one because it's me, my sisters, and then our husbands. So, and that's who went out. And then I'm not sure which side I want the coaster on. I have no idea. So that's what I'm starting with. And then the papers. I have some papers that I didn't want to use, just a few scraps, um, a few scraps in here. They're mostly branding strips. Yeah, they're all branding strips in there. And then these few scraps of paper, I just decided not to use on this layout. And these I had pulled out of my stash. Those didn't come, that didn't come in the kit. But maybe I'll map my pictures on that. So let's keep that out. So I'm not using those few scraps. That's all I'm left with really. And then I did pull these out of the ephemera pack, the 49 market ephemera pack. And then I just pulled these few scraps to work with because this is really all that's left of this kit. It's really not much, which is why I'm deciding if I'm going to make one or two sides to this layout today. I pulled out some of the trim the alphabets, of course. Put that over there so I can reach it better. And then I pulled out a ton of ephemera that I would like to use. So I plan on mostly filling this page up with, um, with ephemera to fill it out since we don't have very much paper left. And I forgot to mention, especially if this is the first video that you've seen of mine, Everything that I use in this um, video, including tools and whatnot, will all be linked in the description of this video. So you can just go there to um, see everything that I used. And I've just got random, I think, I'm not gonna use that one. I've just got random pieces of ephemera that I pulled from the different packs of ephemera. The best, I wanted to use that, that was from the um, simple store or pink fresh sticker sheet and I've just got a bunch of things here some tabs I'm not going to use all of this there is a lot um yeah so I pulled my pieces that I thought would work the best out of all the different ephemera packs that come in this kit so I've got a lot a lot a lot of ephemera left so I am going to start I will push that off. We don't need that quite yet. I'm just going to start with this picture. And I did pull out these frames to possibly use. I'm not sure. Maybe I can go like that. Okay. And then I've got the patterned paper here. I grabbed a couple sheets from that ephemera pack. And I'm just gonna start layering up underneath. I'm gonna save some for the second side off to the side here so that these can coordinate and match. And like if I use yellow on this side, I'm gonna wanna save a little piece of this yellow to use on this side. But I actually think I have a whole big piece. I do. I have a whole another piece of this yellow, so I just might use this piece. And this piece, let me tell you the dimensions, because if you're following along, you'll have this. And this piece is six inches by four inches. So if you're following along with every layout that I make and making the same thing, you're, you're gonna have some of these same sizes of papers. I really love this plaid. 
I'm gonna push this up. I'm gonna cut out a chunk of this plaid so I can use it on the coordinating page. Okay, so I've got like just this little L shape. And then I can use this on the coordinating page. And then I really liked this brick paper because there's bricks in my pictures. I like the other side too, but I think I'm going to use the brick side. And I think I'm just going to cut it in half. So it's three inches wide. I'm gonna cut it in half, one and a half inches. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use it. but at least I got half for this side and half for this side. Kind of like that. And then I've just got branding strips that I pulled out here that I could use in a variety of places. And I, this one is kind of too, too pattern me. This one looks pretty good. I'm not gonna worry about that one right now. And then I've got these teeny tiny little scraps. It's the wood grain on the back. Um, I'm gonna cut this little piece off that's hanging off the edge. I don't know. I just love that pattern of paper, but I'm not sure that I even need it on here. We'll leave it up there for now. Oh, I've got a little more of this that I don't feel like I need. And then this orange, I've got quite a bit of it left. I think I could Leave a pop of orange sticking out of the bottom. So since I've kind of got this, maybe I will try to do the other side and just kind of make this together because it kind of feels counterproductive to make one side all the way and then not the other side. Oh, and I forgot. I've got these film strips. And I love them. So I might incorporate them. And actually, if I just wanted to use one, I could probably cut it right down the middle. That might look really nice. If I do that, I would like to use this green one. I am gonna go ahead and cut it right down the middle. I'm just gonna do it. So these are two inches wide, so I will cut one inch down the middle. And I'm probably gonna have to cut it a little shorter than what it is because I don't want these edges sticking out. I'm gonna cut about three inches off of the end. So I've just got a little piece right there. And I can use the other half on the other side. And you know, maybe I should do the same with this. I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna cut it one inch and half lengthwise. And I'm just gonna see where I want. I'm gonna cut about four inches off the end of this one. And I'm just gonna mess around and place this somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. It looks pretty nice there. there. I don't like it like that. I think I 
Oh, I don't like it over there. So I think this is where it's gonna go. Okay, I like, I like how that looks. Then let's work on this other side. And then to kind of make the layout flow together, I think on this other side, let me get these so you can see both of them on screen. I think I should put the brick down that opposite side. And then of course we've got pictures, we've got, we've got a lot. Pictures, we've got the, um, oh my gosh, what is this called? I just said it, the coaster. <laughs> This came out of the ephemera pack. I'm gonna try to use the same colors of paper, but not in the same places. Like, I don't wanna mi mirror this and this. I don't want it in the same place. I want it to be a little bit different. I am gonna set my coaster there during this whole thing. And you know, I need to get the yellow paper out. This piece of yellow that I still have because I need to cut a half of an, an inch strip to mirror that down this side. So let me cut that. And then, so that will mirror that side. And then I also need to cut a little piece to layer under here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off this overhanging piece. And it is four inches by three and a quarter inches. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that okay now I feel like I've got things to work with and I'm not sure where to put this little frame maybe down there Or maybe even under the whole entire layout. I find that it's not actually framing a picture. I'm just gonna cut across here where I've cut out that weird shape and clean that up. So I'm gonna cut about two inches off. And then three and a half inches wide. So I just have another little piece to work with. Okay, I'm trying to get organized and get rid of the colors that I already used because this side is filling up. Since it has more pictures, it's filling up quicker. I don't need that one. I don't feel like I need that. I do have these pieces left from the um, film strip thing. I've got this little one left that I love. Not sure about that. I have this plaid piece that I feel like I need to include in here somewhere even if it's just a little, hmm. No, I do not like that. I might just need a tiny little piece of this. My coaster is making things difficult. I might just put a little hmm let's see 
So I've got a little there and a little peeking out right here. Okay, I think, I think I like the way this is coming. So what I'm gonna do instead of using this little piece here, I'm just gonna slice this into a couple little pieces. So one piece is gonna be two and a half inches long and the other piece is just gonna be one and a half inches. And I'm just gonna slide them underneath so it looks like it's going all the way across. Oh, and now I have, I'm thinking I might want to use these little, what am I doing here? These little pieces. And actually, maybe I'll use a long one and I'll replace that. I don't want it to look so much like a big Christmas tree. It's looking very pointed at the top right there. So. move that up a little okay there I like that okay I am going to go off camera I'm going to hear all of these things down except my coaster I'm not going to hear the coaster quite yet so I'm going to get this all adhered down and I will be right back Alrighty, I've got everything adhered down. I matted my pictures on white. I forgot to um, tell you that before I went off camera to adhere everything down. And now we've got all of these embellishments that we're gonna try to maneuver on here. And by all means, I do not need all of these to fit. This is just what I have to work with. And I'm gonna put them in a little tray here so that they're not just sitting all over my layout. Okay, I'm not gonna try to add these. I am gonna try to add this. I'm not sure where. Kind of like it down there, the best. Um, and then I'm just gonna start placing things as you've often seen me do in the past videos. Um, it says good friends and great times, but these are my sisters, so I just kind of liked the great times part of this because it matches. So I'm just going to use that part, and then, guys, I don't even know, I'm just putting things around. I liked this one because it says six, and there were six of us. Tape is cute. Put maybe a smaller tape in there. to use these flowers. Let's start with the bigger pieces that I wanted to use first. Mm -hmm. 
And then I'm just trying to put stuff around um, and pile up little clusters. And I'm not sure, like there's no plan here ahead of time. I'm just adding things as I see them and trying to make it even with clusters across both pages and trying to make it look like it coordinates. I don't think I need that. Oh, at first I wanted to use one of these, but they might be too bright. I'm gonna try to cut apart this one, this orange tag that has mostly white. It's just a little bit of orange because there is a little bit of orange in my layout from that orange triangle paper. So I'll try to stick this somewhere. It doesn't need to go down there or up there, but maybe somewhere in here. I'm not sure where this will go. Or maybe I can cut it in half and use half on each page. So I can put part of it right there, part of it down here. That looks nice, I think. I love this do not enter. Aha, uh -huh. here's some little cassette tapes that have more color in them. Kind of like those two because they have color in them. If I need another one, I'll use that one. Little bottle of wine, possibly in there. I have another one of these leaves. And then I've just got all kinds original unique it says hooligan is funny obviously we're not hooligans but it's kind of funny Hmm. Okay, I think I have picked through these and pulled enough. There's a lot on here. So now I need to try to gather these clusters together and make them look nice together so they don't just look so thrown on there. And I kind of need to condense them together. I think I might need a little more embellishment over here. Hmm. work. And then I just want to keep it even and balanced. That's my main my main concern is to keep things balanced. This page looks pretty nice over here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not sure where to put this. If, if I need to put it anywhere. maybe move that for now and then over here I'm gonna try to balance out these things so that they look nice I really like that on top a little possibly with leaves coming out here some leaves on that side. And then I'm not sure about this little tab. I know that I have more of these tabs in blue, so they might stick out better. So I'm gonna go pull one of those out in blue. And then, okay, I think I'm pretty, doing pretty good here um let me grab one of those little tabs in blue okay guys i think this is just about enough stuff on here for me I'm gonna leave something over there just to dry your eye that way a little. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm going to adhere all of these embellishments down where I have them. I don't intend on moving any of them around much from where I've got them, but uh, we'll see when I get back if I keep it like this, but I'm pretty sure I'm keeping it almost exactly like this. So I'll be right back. I've got everything adhered down. Um, and I do want to add a few splatters, but I want to add gold splatters, not black. Um, and I'm just going to add a couple here and there. So let me grab my gold mist. And when I come back and look at this, I don't like this white line here. It feels like weird to me. So I'm going to actually scooch this over a tiny little bit. It, it kind of felt like... It was the white of the background showing through there, not the photo mat. So I wanted to just switch that up. And then I will cover my pictures before I splatter my mist. And I'm not even really sure where I want to splatter it. A little down here. I might need to add a little black splatters in there because I don't feel like the gold is showing up a lot. Oh, but I don't want to make it too crazy either. There's already a lot, a lot, a lot going on here. So maybe I'll just leave the gold as it is um, and just add a few more. Okay, guys, I think this layout is done. Um, I know I didn't add a title with my thickers, but I think there's so much on here. You can obviously see where we were at. So I don't... Feel like I need another title there's a lot of words on this one so if you were inspired by this layout either to use this kit and make the same layout or to use um, your stash and make a layout that looks similar to this I would love to see it on our not just for boys kit club community Facebook group and um, yeah I think that's about it this is going to be the last layout that I make using this kit so I will be putting posting um, a layout share video showing you what's left with my kit and what my plans are for the leftover pieces and showing you all the layouts that I made here in a few days. So I will see you soon. Thanks guys. Bye.